quick information for everybody who's watching my feeding story so that you get a better understanding of how it works because I got a lot of questions asking different things like are the animals dead or alive when we feed them? Um, do we kill the animals or are the lions killing the animals? Where do the animals come from? And that's why I just want to clarify a few things. I'll try to keep, keep it short. All right, the animals, they come from the Hakuna Park Oasis because we have a huge wild population of animals. We do have a lot of wild zebras, wildebeest, kudus, nyalas, impalas, all kinds, giraffes, as you guys saw today. We have a lot of wild animals here. So from time to time, we go to the back of the farm. We take out the old, the sick ones, the hurt ones. Uh, during mating season, where they, when there's too many males, for example, we take out the males. This means you have to regulate the population on the property. And uh, these animals, we then feed to the lions immediately after we shot them. So they don't kill them by themselves yet. The goal, obviously, is that they learn how to hunt by themselves. But keep in mind, these lions are still babies. These lions are bred like they are captive bred animals. They have never had the opportunity to learn how to kill or hunt. They first need to learn how to eat an animal properly. And this is why they never made a kill so far. But what they do, you saw it as well in my morning stories sometimes, they do already sneak up on other animals. They already go for them, but they never achieve to kill one of them. I hope this gave you a better picture of how it works. <laughs> Get some of the meal here. All right, and today is also feeding day of the lion. So if you don't want to see any graphic content, blood or dead animals, then don't watch my next stories because they are busy with the rest of the zebra. And uh, yeah, all right, let's have a look at it. So Dexter got a nice main part right over here. The other ones are all around the carcass. Unfortunately, <laughs> what's up, my girl? Unfortunately, um, we only got one zebra from the neighborhood. Uh, so we had to take out the intestines, which went to Chucky. We had to cut off one leg, um, which went to the to the cheetahs, as you guys could see. And, yo, you're super playful, eh? And uh, yeah, so that everybody has a little piece of it. But the biggest piece, of course, went to the lions. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, hello, my boys. How is it? Yeah. Oh. oh, you did a great job so far. You guys did a great job so far. What's happening? Yeah. All right, so this is the day after. You can see there's actually still quite a lot of meat left. It was a big zebra. Um, He'll be busy another day with it, and then I think it will be done. Oh god, look at Dexter. He's like literally going into that zebra. His whole head is in. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, another thing also which I monitored after those few feeding sessions with whole carcasses is that as soon as the meat is limited which means the next day then they get way more competitive and aggressive no playing games now that's why i won't go too close at this stage because i don't want to end up having a competition with him right you are having those competitions but not me did he catch your heart that's where those scars you know happen huh you challenging mr dexter why are you challenging him you know you're a little princess you can't fuck with the king. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so this is Dexter making clear that the wildebeest, which is over there, is his territory now. Pretty impressive because um, Kiara was there for about half an hour until Dexter got up, chased her away from there. She went all the way over to the wildebeest, wanted to continue there. So he moves from there to the wildebeest and chases everybody away. And he's like, okay, get off here. This is mine. It's my time now. Yeah, you can do these things when you're the king, right? No, my girl. Sorry about that. You, you poor little thing. Dexter just chased you away. Daddy's here. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. She was just busy eating there. And then Dexter came and said, Nah, I'm the boss. You gotta go away now. Good afternoon, everybody. So here I am making a quick checkup on the Pride, which is right over there. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my baby. Sorry about that. Hello, my baby. Wait. Wait up. Yeah. Who's coming there? Nyla. Hello, Nyla. Hello, Nyla. What's up here? Don't you? You got a very big mouth. Let me go and check up on the other ones over there. Huh? All right, so let's check up on the other ones. So Leo is having a little drink here, right? And snow, it looks, oh, <laughs> looks like snow is busy chewing on something. Hello, my boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're chewing on the leg. Opa. I'm super sorry about that, bro. Oh, that was my fault. I distracted him and Leo used that opportunity to just take that leg away and he's now running around with the leg there. That, I, I, I kind of feel bad now. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. But anyway, there's nothing left on that leg. There is no meat, nothing. He's just chewing a little bit on it. Oh my. Oh my boy, you're not angry with me, right? Good afternoon, everybody. So I'm back here with the lions since they have been fed yesterday. You should know that if you watch my stories. Um, I just wanted to check up on them. <laughs> oh my boy. This is Leo. And as I can see, he got some additional scars here on the nose. Can you guys see that? Must have ended up in a little fight with Dexter, or maybe with Snow, or even Nyla. But once, one thing is for sure, his belly is huge and filled up with meat. Did you guys know that a lion can eat up to 40 kgs of meat in only one sitting? This is why they are so exhausted and so tired the day after feeding always. What's up, my boy? And yeah, but what I actually wanted to find out is where is the carcass and how far are they with eating? Because I can definitely see that they've been eating right over here. You can still see some dry blood and stuff like that. Some insides here. Snow is right over there. Hello, <laughs> my boy. What's up with you? Hey. What's good? You. I'm happy to see you too. Oh. And uh, yeah, maybe Snow or one of the other lions is going to tell us where the rest of the carcass is. Are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we finally found the carcass. And with the carcass, Dexter and the rest of the pride. So this was pretty cool. While I was walking down here, I saw how Dexter dragged the whole carcass from over there 
right into this corner because he saw me coming with the other lions and he was not ready to share anything. He made it clear to us. Oh, 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 like that. oh, oh, oh. Yes, the next day, as soon as there is limited food, there is no playing around anymore. You could just see actually Dexter almost freaked out as well. He allowed Khaleesi to nibble there on the other end. But as soon as Leo approached, Khaleesi said, nah, I only got that little piece and I'm not gonna share this with you. It's pretty crazy. And they're constantly talking to one another. It's the movement, it's their face expressions, it's their sounds they make. It's a known language actually. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that Sunday checkup on the Lion Pride. Um, there's not much for me to do here. Um, I'm maybe going to sit down underneath the tree a little bit and observe them because that's where I learned the most. That's where they teach me the most about their language and their behavior. And then I'm going to go back to the main house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see what's next, then make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel right now. And if you want to see more content, you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys later.